Toby Rama asks on YouTube, our favorites and New Zealand sweets and confectionaries. All right. Go for it. Laura is the is the, <laughs> the can, candy expert. She's the mentor in the, in the couple right here, so she'll take a lot of that. Actually, I want to start because I have one. Oh, okay uh, then. Yeah, otherwise she's gonna take it from me. So I want to start, and I want to say that I love Whitaker's chocolate, right? Um, this brand of chocolate is is a kiwi brand, and they make absolutely amazing things. Now they 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 have a lot of different kind of like you know um. Uh, like premium flavors. collections and flavors like you know hogs bit pears and and you know uh you know satsuma mandarins and chocolates and everything so those things are kind of like they're okay and they make some really good gifts but honestly the good ones are like milk and and almonds and milk and hazelnuts fruit oh, and nuts and i love fruit and nuts <laughs> you're fruity and nutty <laughs> nuts fruit and nuts and chocolate that's uh, good. And uh, dark chocolate, all of that. So yeah, so uh, Whitaker's chocolate, like the basic ones, are really awesome. There's another one which makes also for an awesome gift is the LNP one because LNP is a New Zealand soda. Yeah. Um, and so so yeah, so and they put flavor of that in the in, in in the chocolate blocks, which is quite cool. Mm. So yeah, so that's definitely hands down my favorite. I know it's a little bit like boring, classic, but yeah. Yeah, it's just good chocolate. Yeah. You have to try it, and it's available in any supermarket. So pick up a block. That's what I say. Yeah. Anyway, more candy. So yeah, New Zealand is really crazy about their candy, really proud of the candy that they sell here. And one of the things they're really proud of is something called chocolate fish, which yes. isn't as weird as it sounds actually. It's got, it's just a, a marshmallow that is shaped like a little fish, but coated in chocolate. And if you go on any, um, if you go on like quite a few like adventure tours where they have snacks involved halfway through the tour, um, they will probably offer you chocolate fish as a sort of boost to keep you going. So that's always really cool. Um, and another another candy that New Zealanders really love is something called pineapple lumps. So this is sort of like a pineapple jelly center coated in chocolate. And that is a thing where you, again, like Marmite, you either love it or you hate it. So some people really love it, but I think for me, I'm a little bit nah, not quite sure on the pineapple lumps. Uh, do you like pineapple lumps? Mm, yeah, it's kind of like it's it's okay, right? It's sweet and stuff, but I, you know, I, I'm not really into the all, all the fuss around it. Um, there is something which is really kind of uh, interesting um, as a candy. It's called Jaffa. Yeah. Um, so Jaffas are basically about yay big and uh, they are uh, hard coated candies they, the coating is like that bright orange and i think it's supposed to taste like orange but i've never actually got that taste no i just uh, <laughs> so it's supposed to taste like orange and inside it's really hard chocolate and it tastes really awesome and they're so proud about it that actually every year in dunedin which is down on the on the south islands um, they actually toss a massive amount of Jaffas and that's called a Jaffa race so on each of the little candy they put a number and people can buy a number as a kind of like a lottery and then toss it down the, the steeper street in the country Baldwin Street Baldwin <laughs> Street yeah and it all goes down and the first little Jaffa ball that goes down is the one that wins the prize it's kind of like there's literally a festival all around that yeah. uh, that little candy so that's definitely uh, definitely kind of a, a big one that's for sure yeah um, another thing that I think it's also available in Australia and it's sort of spreading to other countries more now but t uh, it, what, what's the little biscuits called Tim Tams Tim Tams yeah. yeah, so Tim, uh, yeah, a really popular biscuit in New Zealand is Tim Tams and what people like to do, well, it, it's two biscuits with a little bit of soft chocolate in the middle and what people like to do is bite the end of each each end of the chocolate, put it in their tea and suck the tea up through the biscuit like a straw, which can really turn into a big mess and then you end up dropping your biscuit in your tea and it's like, disaster! But yeah, it's um, that's a really like a thing that all Kiwis are always really like proud to yeah. show you like look at this little trick I can do with my my Tim Tam yeah <laughs> so that's another thing um I think hokey pokey as well yeah hokey pokey so the hokey pokey is more like a, a flavor um yeah. more than anything else so hokey pokey is basically some honey that you uh you kind of let harden uh, so you kind of 
dry it, or I don't know how you do, but you let it's it harden. Like heat it, heat it up or something until yeah. it's like a honeycomb. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, and so you have a slab of honey which is really hard, and and then you you kind of like uh, hit it with a hammer, smash it, and you got like bits of honey on everything. So you're gonna get hockey pokey in ice cream. So you have vanilla ice cream with hockey pokey in it, which is basically smashed up honey in it. Um, you have a chocolate with hockey pokey. You know, you actually can find the Whitakers with hockey yes. pokey. So <laughs> go for that. I love it. Um, so yes, yeah, so you get milk chocolate in, in which you have a lot of honey in it. So that's a that's a really cool thing. Uh, yeah. That's a really cool sweet to have. Uh, now I know it's not really a sweet, but you know it's a sweet thing. So I quickly mentioned LNP. So I just want to tell you a little bit about what that is. So LNP is kind of like the New Zealand soft drinks. Um, L stands for lemon, and P stands for pyrora. Pyrora is a town uh, about like a, an hour and a half south of Auckland, um, and in there, this is where I do the LNP. Uh, they say that it it, it makes the, the whole drink taste better because the they water use the, of, the spring water, yeah, the from, spring Pyrora. water from Pyrora tastes much better. Um, now, it's kind of a very, very tasty lemonade. Think about Sprite as being a watered down lemonade with literally just sugar and water. And think about LNP being like, you know, your, you know, old version lemonade, right? It tastes really strongly like lemon mm. and, and it has those bubbles, it has all those things. And um, and yeah, that's basically that's basically what. Uh, yeah, I think it. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth trying LMP. Like yeah. that's literally the only soft drink I go for now since being in New Zealand. Like once you try LMP, like why isn't this everywhere else? Yeah, in the world? it actually does taste really awesome. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, sweet wise, if I want to talk about things which are a little bit more obscure, things that you're not going to find really, really everywhere, uh, there is a chocolate factory in New Zealand called Ma Makana, Matakana, Makana, 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 yeah. yeah. So they have a shop in uh, Blenheim and they have a shop all the way in uh, North and in, uh, near Pahia. Kerry, Kerry. Kerry, yeah, Kerry, Kerry, which is near Pahia in the Bay of Islands. Um, now they do all their chocolate handmade. We visited them actually <laughs> during our New Zealand's Biggest Gap year where we challenged ourselves to do 365 activities in only 365 days. We actually made a point of visiting both of their locations <laughs> because they're really, really awesome chocolates. Uh, when you visit uh, their factory, they actually have samples and everything like that. You can watch them make the chocolate, which is quite cool. Um, it, it's really awesome. It's, it's, it's some of the really, really good New Zealand sweets. Um, do you have another one that I can go in? Uh, I, yeah, you can. Okay, okay. As, yeah. as sweets as well. Um, mm -hmm. I want to talk about honey. New Zealand is world famous for its honey. So I know it's not the sweet and the confectionery, but um, I love honey. I genuinely do love that. If I have a choice between a sneaker bar and, and some honey, I, I would. Of honey. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would literally just be Winnie the Pooh and start stuffing <laughs> myself with honey. And New Zealand does make some of the best honey in the world, especially the ma uh, ma Manuka. Manuka. Sorry about that. I know that word. Um, the Manuka honey. The Manuka honey is so delicious. Seriously, so good. And has so many medicinal terms. Yeah, and apparently it cures well. everything. Like, yeah. you know, you hear some people saying that they have burns and then you cure them and then they have this and they cure them. So it cures everything. It's a prize position here. Um, and so, yeah, definitely when you're in New Zealand, if you get the, chai, the, 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 the time to try uh, some Manuka honey, that would be really awesome. Mm, so sure. yeah, so that's basically some of our favorite sweets. Uh, we probably forgot something. If you guys have some sweet that you like in New Zealand, just make sure you put them in the comment below. We may just uh, do another video just, uh, adding all of you. We can well. always talk about sweets. Yeah. We can talk about sweets forever. Yeah, so. definitely. It's tough. Then I, I start thinking about some extra one, like the Kiwi Poo, you know, those uh, uh, chewy oh, scallop yeah. like stuff. You can buy a bag of like Kiwi Poo, which are literally just chocolate droppings. And, uh, and that's a really funny souvenir yeah. to come back home. So yeah, really awesome stuff. Ton of confectionaries, ton of sweets in New Zealand, and that, that's really cool. All right, uh, well, that's gonna be uh, concluding our live chat right now. Yeah. I'm just gonna say hi to a couple of people. Uh, hi, Michael. We were really happy to have you on board with us. Uh, with us. Hi, Approva. Approva. Thank you very much for joining us. I think I mentioned everybody in the live chat. We are so thankful for you guys joining us every week. We will be back here next week and we show people when we're going to be back. 